Hello everyone, this is Sarah with the York County Library. Welcome to another Stay Creative York County video. In today's video, we are going to be making a embroidery hoop pin display. So I really like enable pins. I find that they're a durable and wearable little piece of art that I can wear with whatever I want to. Um, so I wanted a way to be able to look at them when I'm not wearing them because they are little pieces of art. Um, so we're going to be making an embroidery hoop pin display. This one is going to be pretty plain, but there's a lot of ways you can customize this. I will point those out at the end of the video, but for the basic project, you're going to need a embroidery hoop. I am using a wooden embroidery hoop that measures about seven inches, and this is big enough to fit the fabric that I'm going to be using, which is a nine by 12 piece of felt. You can get this in any color. And I'm also going to be using scissors to cut down the fabric. And the one bit of decoration that I've used is this pom-pom that I made in last week's video to cover up the mechanism at the top that actually tightens and loosens the embroidery hoop on the outside. So to be able to do the uh, pom-pom. I would go check out last week's video. For this pom-pom, I used a fork and some yarn and some scissors. And that's all I had to use to make it. To put it onto this, you will need a little bit of yarn, an embroidery needle that has, or a needle I should say, that has an eye that's big enough to fit your yarn through, and of course your pom-pom and some scissors to cut. So let's get into the video and see how I made this. So the first thing you want to do with your embroidery hoop is to loosen the screw at the top so that the middle comes out. You will then place that back embroidery hoop underneath your felt and center it. I'm just pressing it down around the edges. Then you want to loosen your embroidery hoop on top as far as it'll go and fit it down on top of the embroidery hoop on the bottom. It will be a little snug with the felt, but there you go. If you can tighten the screw at the top, go ahead and do that now. So I've turned the embroidery hoop over. I am cutting down to the hoop and then cutting off the excess material. You could cut down so there's a little strip and fold it in and glue it if you don't want to change out the fabric. Now we're just clearing off the excess. And there we have our hoop with our pins. So I kind of wanted to hide the thing at the top so I have a pom-pom, some yarn, and a needle. I am going to take my yarn, put the loop through the screw at the top, and pull the ends through and it'll become attached. Then I will take my needle and thread the two ends of yarn one at a time through the middle of the pom-pom. So I have the middle where you have tied off the pom-pom. You wanna go on the sides, on either side of that middle part. So I put the first yarn piece through and then thread the second piece of yarn at the top through the needle and pull that through the pom-pom as well. At this point you could tie off the yarn at the top so it has a loop and use that but I'm going to use the back of the embroidery hoop, the metal piece, to hang up my display. So I just tied it off and cut the excess off. And here is the final project on the wall. Okay, and now we have our pin display. So there are a couple ways that you could personalize this or just add that little extra touch to it. The outside hoop, you could wrap it with washi tape 
though since we're using felt and it's a little thicker your embroidery hoop might not be able to accommodate a lot of width when it comes to that but if you're using fabric it might move a little easier um, you could paint the outside and put a sealant over it so it doesn't rub off on the cloth you could around the top and um, put flowers or other pom-poms by gluing them to the top you could put ribbon around it um, just washi tape on the outside um, for the top here you could have different covers um, you could also hang it with string instead of using the back mechanism the reason why I chose to cut the fabric instead of folding and gluing it is that I wanted to be able to take this piece of fabric out and use different fabrics with it. Um, other things you can do, which I think are really cool, is you could sew some pockets on the front. So all you'd have to do is cut out the shape of the pocket and then do a simple stitch around the outside and then you could put stuff inside. So you could use this for stuff other than pin displays. And I just like the customizable uh, <laughs> options that you have with it and it's also a good gift to give if you know someone who likes pins you don't like pins yourself you could make something like this for them personalize it you could write their name across the top um, so yeah i hope you had fun with today's video friends um, make sure to uh, follow or subscribe to our channel for more crafting videos also storytelling videos tutorials book recommendations for all ages. It's a lot of fun over here. So until next time, friends, remember to stay safe and stay creative, York County.